Okay, so let's do this. Uh, good day, everyone. Our lesson for today is about the variance of a discrete probability distribution. Okay, so here's the formula. Uh, sigma squared equals the summation of x minus mean squared times p of x. Okay, so example, no? suppose we have a number of cars sold in a day and its corresponding probabilities. Okay, so here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is that we need to find uh, the mean. Okay, the mean of a discrete probability distribution. So, our last lesson, no, you have learned about how to find the mean. Okay, so what we are going to do is we need to multiply this x and this p of x. So, x times p of x okay so let's add another column okay so 0 times 1 over 10 is 0 1 times 2 over 10 is 2 over 10 uh, 2 times 3 over 10 is uh, 6 over 10 just remember no, that when we add a uh, whole number and fraction we only multiply the numerator and the whole number and we copy the denominator. So, 2 times 3 is 6. Then, copy the denominator, which is 10. Next, 3 times 2 over 10 is 6 over 10. And, 4 times 2 over 10 is 8 over 10. Okay. So, now that we mul uh, multiply the x and its corresponding probabilities, so, we need to get the sum. Okay. The symbol for mean is this no mu or uh, the summation of x times p of x which is equal to 2 plus 6 plus 6 plus 8 is 22 over 10 or 2.2 okay so this 2.2 is our mean okay so next we need to find the difference of x and the mean. So, our symbol for that is x minus mean. Okay. So, 0 minus 2.2 is negative 2.2. Okay. Then, 1 minus... 2.2 is negative 1.2 okay 2 minus 2.2 is negative 0 0.2 and 3 minus 2.2 is uh, positive 0 0.8 and last 4 minus 2.2 is uh, positive 1.8 okay then the next step is we need to square this uh, fourth column no so the values in fourth column we need to square that so our symbol our symbol will be x minus mean squared okay squared meaning to say these numbers these values we need to multiply it by itself so negative 2.2 times negative 2.2 is 4.84 uh, negative 1.2 times negative 1.2 is 1.44 then negative uh, 0 0.2 times negative 0 0.2 is positive 0 0.04 uh, 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.64 and 1.8 times 1.8 is 3.24 okay so the last step is we need to mm -hmm. so we need to uh, this column we need to multiply it by its corresponding probabilities here okay so our sub symbol will be x minus mean squared times p of x okay so that will be our symbol 
Okay, so 4.84 times 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.484. Okay, 1.44 times 2 divided by 10 is uh, 0 0.288. 0 0.04 times 3 divided by 10 is 0 0.012. Then, uh, 0 0.64 times 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.128. 3.24 times 2 over 10 is 0 0.648. Okay, so that is our sixth column. Okay, so as you can remember in the formula, no, if we're going to go back here, so summation of x minus mean squared times p of x, which is, eto siya sa ating last column. We need to say we need to add all. Okay, so if we go going to add this, the sum will be uh, 1.56 so this is our variance okay so this is our variance okay and if we are interested to get the standard deviation no we say that standard deviation is the square root of variance so all we need to do is square root this 1.56 so that will be uh, the square root of 1.56 is 1.25 okay so that's our answer okay so another example for uh, finding the variance of a discrete probability distribution okay so we have uh, suppose we have x and its values is 0 1 2 3 and its corresponding probability is, is 1 over 8 3 over 8 3 over 8 and 1 over 8 okay so again the first thing or the first step in finding the variance is we need to find the mean no and in order to find the mean we need to multiply the value the values and its corresponding probabilities no so we mean to say x times p of x okay so 0 times 1 over 8 is 0 1 times 3 over 8 so 3 over 8 2 times 3 over 8 is, uh, again, we need to multiply the numerator and the whole number. So, 2 times 3 is 6, then copy the denominator. Okay, so 3 times 1 is 3, copy the denominator, which is 8. Okay, so that's it. Then, uh, what we need to do is we need to get the sum of this third column of these products. So, 3 plus 6 plus 3 is uh, 12 over 8 or 12 divided by 8 is 1.5. Okay. So, here. So, that means our mean is 1.5. Okay. So, what we're going to do that with the mean? Okay. So, this will be our... Uh, iso subtract natin to sa mga x. No? So, let's see. So, here's our x minus mean. Okay. So, that's this will be our label. So, in the first, uh, this, in the first values, no? So, 0 minus 1.5 is negative 1.5. Then, 1 minus 1.5 is negative 0.5. 2 minus 1.5 is positive 0 0.5 and 3 minus 1.5 is positive 1.5. Okay, then the next step is we need to get the square of this fourth column. So, we have x minus mean squared. Okay, so negative 1.5 times negative 1.5 is 2.25. Zero, negative 0 0.5 times negative 0 0.5 is um, 0 0.25 okay so same here so 0.5 pa din siya so 0 0.25 pa din at eto 1.5 same dito so 2.25 okay so ganun lang kadali 
Then the last step is we need to get uh, the product of the first fifth column and the second column. So we have copy lang natin x minus mean squared times p of x. So meaning etong column na to i-multiply natin dito sa p of x. Ito yung p of x, ito yung squared. No? So 2.25 times 1 over 8 is uh, let's see it will result to 0 0.28125 okay then here 0 0.25 times 3 divided by 8 is 0 0.093 Seven five. Okay, so here, uh, as you can see, this column, uh, this row, and this row are the same. This probability and this probability are the same. So, meaning to say, if we're going to multiply that, it will yield to the same result. So, zero point zero nine three seven five. Same here in the uh, in this uh, row. So, 0 0.28125. If we we're going to multiply this 2.25 by this 1 over 8. Okay? So, the last step is we need to add this 6th column. Okay. So, sigma squared or variance is equal to, if we're going to add all this, it will result to 0. Point uh seven five okay so this is our variance and again if we're going if we want to find the standard deviation all we need to do is get the square root of this variance okay so zero point square root of zero point seventy five is um zero point eight four eight something like that or 0 0.85 okay so this is our answer okay so just remember that uh, there are some uh, there are alternative ways to find the variance okay so that's all if you want to practice then I'll give you this activity so suppose we have this number of items sold uh, let uh, represent it as random variable x so we have 19 20 21 22 and 23 okay and its corresponding probability or p of x no, is 0 0.20 0 0.20 0 0.30 0 0.20 and 0 0.10 okay so just comment your answer below thank you for watching